Malaria is one of the three deadliest infectious diseases on Earth. The other two are HIV and tuberculosis. Now, on IBM's World Community Grid, which is a network of over two million PCs that people donate from around the world, and then when they're not using their computer, the idle CPU time is used to help advance different research projects that benefit humanity. Now, on this World Community Grid, we're about to launch a brand new project called the Global Online Fight Against Malaria, or Go Fight Against Malaria. Now, in this project, we're going to screen millions of different chemical compounds to find which of these chemicals are able to bind to the right regions of key drug targets from the malaria parasite. We're going to evaluate flexible versions of these little chemicals to see which ones can bind to the right region and gum up the parasite's machinery in order to prevent it from being able to survive and multiply. So we'll do this on, on the Go Fight Against Malaria project, and we're specifically going to focus on these multi-drug resistant mutant targets. One of them here is dihydrofolate reductase with the mutant residue shown here in, in red. Um, now on this project, we'll dock to predict how well these different chemicals can wedge in there and bind and gum up the works and thus help advance the development of new cures, new drugs that can help cure patients who have these multi-drug resistant mutants of malaria. So if you want to contribute and help us fight malaria, then join World Community Grid at worldcommunitygrid.org and sign up to participate in this global online fight against malaria project. And then you can help us find new chemicals that can be used to develop new drugs that can hopefully cure patients who have malaria. I'm Dr. Alex L. Perryman, a member of Professor Art Olson's lab at the Scripps Research Institute. Thank you for your time.